The most valuable thing that I can tell you is that if you're a loud player, you do not overuse the, the thumb or the wrist hand. You don't, don't hold on tight and do this, because you're going to wreck yourself up here. What's the difference now? I'm holding in the back like this, and I'm going... Not, but, or, or, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. See what's happening over here? Not this, but this. Now, if I'm playing softer, I'm not holding way back here. I'm holding way out in here. If I hold too tight, no good. If I'm doing this, I have no, no squeeze left. Watch the squeeze. <laughs> it's a different, a different thing. And if I'm in the middle, if I'm just going along like this, if I'm just look where it's in the middle, just like this. It's, it's, it's moving in my hand. It's not imprisoned in my hand. It's lying gently in my hand. Jim, just show some triplets. Yeah, right there. Hold some triplets uh, so we can just see the motion. A little slow. Yeah. If I can do something inside. There it is. <laughs> Jim, a student of Sanford Moller back in 1938 and 39, really was Moller's best student. And as Jim travels the world completely teaching this technique, he's helped literally hundreds to thousands of drummers with this technique, really more so needed now in modern playing. Absolutely, because you're going to hurt yourself doing this. If I do this, nothing. Do this all day. Do the left hand. See what's happening? And just as a general, as a general policy, pain is not a good thing. We try and stay away from pain as much as we can to allow us to have speed, endurance, control, and power, which is the name of Jim's videotape, which you can track down on Warner Brothers for more information in detail on Jim Chapin explaining the Mola technique. Thank you so much, Jim. If they tell you no pain, no gain, shoot him. <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you again at the next cyber lesson. Bye-bye. <laughs>